get everything. And when the plant was finished, it was ready to operate. We didn't sell all the fire yet, but we put these plants all together and everything. So I told the individual who was up on the top there, when we're gonna get market, people we can buy, and this, well, everything went to Japan. He says, oh, next week, I'm gonna bring in a group of people. And United Airlines, he chartered United Airlines and from Japan. He went to all the supermarket store and took all the vice presidents or presidents from the store and brought him to Hawaii. Ah, and, and his marketing story was golf. And the Japanese just love golf. We could play down Manalani, Manake Beach, and they just fall for that. They all came into Hilo. We went into that, the plant. On the end was the, the guy from the bank and the, the coming down the line, the first thing those people go to the guy over there and sign for contract down the end, back on the bus and everybody would play golf. <laughs> and we had a full mm, contract. Sure. You spend That's money a different so. kind of market, <laughs> but you gotta spend money. Very good, thank you, sir. Yes, great thing. Okay, Perfect okay. example. Financial commitment. You're going to include, uh, if you have like a, a mortgage payment, uh, if you have a car payment or truck payment, or you plan on getting a truck for the business, you're gonna wanna include some sort of <clears throat> uh, offer for the equipment in there. Um, your tractors, what else? Financial commitments. Really usually goes out to payments. So please include any kind of payments that you currently have or will have for your business. Uh, if you don't have them already, write who would they be with and for how much. And that's it. That is a comprehensive business plan, folks. Could you imagine trying to write a business plan without me going over that with you? <laughs> this is the result. Some pretty darn good business plans, but we'll see how it goes. You have no excuse to not fill out every single section of this rubric and write it into your business plan. No excuse. I gave you, I broke it down every single section. And when we go through it, it'll make a lot more sense. So if it doesn't make sense now, just wait till we go through the five modules or four modules. They will make a lot more sense. Okay? Question? Yeah, like I said, um, oh, you missed it. Um, I'm putting them up on YouTube, and I should have them up by Monday, Tuesday of the week. Okay. Um, all right, class schedule, folks. This is today. We're going on under the 13th. We're doing business model and executive summary. I'm going to go business model. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll go on to executive summary. All right. It's going to take at least four hours. 820, we're going to do marketing and sales plan. In your mind, think of the differences between marketing and sales. Marketing is trying to get customers. Sales is retaining customers. Okay? There's a big difference in exposing people to the, the idea of your product and actually having them make an order. And when they're done making that order, getting them back to make another order and repeatedly and repeatedly become a repeat customer. Financial data, I moved it. We'll see how that goes on the 27th. We'll talk about your management team. This is a really fun activity where you basically figure out who you are and where you belong in this mess. 9-10, I give you no class, private evals, private evals, a rough draft due, and class presentations. Any questions? Are you ready to work your butt off? <laughs> Is anybody not coming back next time?
please come back. Please stick with this. When you're done and you actually have your business plan in hand, it's a really, really cool feeling because you could stash it in your drawer, forget about it, live your life, come back to about three years from now, and it, it might even be a better idea, and you might be in a situation in your life that it is more doable. So, but the goal of this is to really get you guys to get some stuff in the ground or get some products going, so let's do it. Um, the modules, I will bring a, a list of the dates of the modules that will be offered for the additional classes after this one. I'll bring that this week or next week. Um, you will provided the list that I have, the KPFA list that I have, everybody on that list will get mailers that, sh that will state all the dates of those modules, okay? Um, if after I send those out and people, you find that people aren't getting them, let me know and give me their names and we'll make sure that everybody gets the information, okay? You can only do with what I got. Everything gotta be on agriculture. Okay. That is a good question. My first, he asked the question of, does this have to be in agriculture? Um, my, when I do this class, I don't really care because it's an activity, it's a practice activity, but I really think that based upon the way, the way the grant is written, that I would steer it towards agriculture. If not agriculture, at least added value of a product, of an agriculture product. Maybe if you don't grow your own coconuts, but you are able to acquire them and you buy a oil press, that is certainly a business, and that is agriculture. You don't have to grow your own, okay? If you do materials, um, like uh, amendments distribution for your group, somebody comes in and, and gets a whole bunch of amendments and everybody in the group buys from that individual, that's an agriculture business, but you're not growing anything. Um, I was stating that the first class that I did, my, my, our top winner that won $350 was, it was a, a lock and key company. He had started off trying to do coffee on his business plan and he couldn't get the data that he wanted. It wasn't showing a profit and he just, he had to have a profit. So he just scratched it all and wrote a business plan for a business that he knew, which was lock and key. And so he wrote a business plan on that. It was so good that we actually awarded him the top prize because it was so comprehensive. Because in that class, it's really all about the exercise. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that from what I've noticed about the angle in which this is class is written, that we're gonna focus on the agriculture side. I'm not gonna penalize you personally. You may not win most <laughs> the best business plan or the board might not select you for the grant uh, based because of that, but um, that's all I can say about that. Any other questions? Okay, folks, you did a really good job. I only did three hours and 25 minutes. Can I make, a st uh, make stacks over here? We'll do it on this end. Can I get the photo release and assumption of risk right here? Uh, thank you very much on that. Any of the surveys, I have them face down right here, guys. Please make sure you have all the documents if you need extras. Wait, I have a question. Yes. The only homework that's due in this class is to have a Rough draft, final business plan, and a presentation. That's at the end. So between That's at now the end. and then is right. making sure we're working on them as we go along. If they miss class, the video assignment is they have to give me the whole a rough draft of the whole section of the business plan that they missed. So if they miss financial plan, they have to give me the write-up, also the, the Excel spreadsheets for that. So it stimulates them to stay up with the class. Because each student should be doing that, most likely they won't, but I, I don't have them yet. I'll email them out. Yeah, okay. I'll email them out to everybody. Okay. And um. And then I will come when I can. There is no requirement as far as like if you guys wanted to team up. Okay. Um, I do, I would ask that you you're gonna do about 15 minutes for per individual on your presentation. That we each contribute to the Yeah. Show me that there's three people working on it. And then I'll, I'll totally yeah. do that. Well, like what you, like what I was asking, you know, like so it's tree farm, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of downtime in a tree farm because it takes so many years. Yep. So on the side, in my mind, I already we we run a lawn business mm -hmm. right now. So much of that contributes to the things that we would be doing. So I would probably have one of us, maybe Kui, because we already mm -hmm. do the business. He can do the lawn business. So right. He can learn that. He can write the plan on that lawn. So he can do it on the trees, and I can do it on the in between stuff mm -hmm. or something. You know, because those are like a ton of business yep. plans that gotta. Get connected. Yeah, there's several of them together. But where 
where you have three people working on it, then it's doable. much easier. Yeah, yeah. Okay, or two so and a half. We'll Oh, sure. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it at his age, for sure. Yeah. Just to verify. Certainly. Yeah. Okay. Whatever <laughs> I can do to help. As long as you're actually here. I was like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. As long as you're actually here, then I don't have a problem with it. Tell her to put it in my mailbox, and then it'll go right to me. Because Jackie will go, what am I supposed to do with this? So just to put this in James' mailbox, I'll handle it. I'll handle it. No worries. Cover what would you say? Cover what? I mean, a cover crop. Yeah. How long is your business plan? We see it How fast? One year? Uh, pulling profit within the first year. Because it's literally just finding somebody that is willing to. All right, brother. So would you. I got to get my the cooperation license and everything. I was put them on top. Yeah. Let's do it. If you. Uh, what were you asking me? <laughs> yeah, the time length. The time length of your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was hoping you what was I saying? I get interrupted. I'm off. <laughs> the time what? What were we talking about? Um, your, uh, so, so one year. Your oh, right, right. Okay. So within a f the first year, I will have made those r relationships with the, the people I'm purchasing from at a wholesale rate. Um, start getting those products and then start selling them right away. I mean, within six months. It's like a weed, it's just all you're doing is all you're doing is buying something from somebody else, getting it to your house, and then charging somebody else twice as much for it. I mean, that's all that that business is: paying half price and then so selling it for twice as much. It's, I mean, in one year you're making profit already. That's, that's uh, you got to remember, you got to purchase your first batches of material, so you would have to make some serious orders on some cover crops, so like seven, eight, ten pallets of stuff that would be out of your pocket first. So that's when the break-even analysis comes in. Mm -hmm. How much money did you put in before and how much do you need to sell in order to hit that break-even? Guaranteed your break-even analysis would be within a year. Within a year. Yeah. Because if you're buying at half and you're selling for times two, then how long does that take to get your money back as fast as you can sell it? That's a lot of investment. That's a lot of time to build up your system. Yep. It's tough, the papaya thing, but if you can get in, you can do it. I would say. I'd say stick to that cover crop thing. Cover crop. Yeah, I would do that as your business plan. Get a hold of Ted Radovich at Citar. Uh, um, he's the cover crop guy. He's the organic guy. Uh, had, his contact information is in one of the one of the things I had given you. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's only one woman in Carnioe who's pretty much doing it. Why don't you get somebody over here? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's the lady that lives, um, she actually lives in the... Uh